Did you know that there is Einstein's work that might make time travel real? Thus, are we going to be able to eventually travel in the past or in the future? Well, let me explain. The theory of time travel has long been an idea that has inspired the minds of science fiction lovers and physicists alike. With movie and television franchises such as Doctor Who, Marvel's Avengers, and Back to the Future showcasing the wild possibilities of elaborate time machines, it's no wonder that this phenomenon has captured the minds and hearts of viewers all over the world. With Wikipedia boasting a list of over 400 different titles within the subcategory of movies about time travel, it is amazing that anyone is able to come up with new ideas as to what it could look like or how it might be possible. Not to mention, internet conspiracy theorists and commentators are certainly not strangers to spawning fantastical theories regarding centuries-old doppelgangers and modern-day celebrities. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently came under such speculation in February of 2020, when a Twitter user pointed out his resemblance to a Canadian fighter pilot from the 1900s. Responding to a tweet Musk had made regarding finally being able to begin the assembly process for SpaceX's Starship SN1 rockets, user at Ration Etienne replied, You would have saved time if you had used the right settings first. Have you considered time travel to save time? Chosen one? Also, why were you in Canada in 1914? Why was your name Raven Kalashaw? And why was your occupation ace fighter pilot? At Rational Etienne also included a photo of Raymond Kalashaw and immediately sent the internet into a frenzy. Though it seems Ad Rational Etienne was joking with this suggestion, Musk quickly replied to the tweet stating, Full disclosure, I'm actually a 3,000 year old vampire. Is such a trial assuming all these false identities over the centuries? Other users quickly began chiming in with various theories, and many of them suggested that they'd known of this shocking revelation all along. While these exchanges were all in good fun, Twitter users are not the first to suspect that perhaps Musk is of the time-traveling sort. In 2017, former Twitter CEO Dick Costolo once stated that Musk being from the future was the only rational explanation for his wealth of knowledge, genius ideas, and visionary mindset. Elon may be proved that time travel exists, because he seems to have either more hours in the day than the rest of us have, or he's from the future, Costolo joked. This was also around the time that another Twitter user reposted a screenshot of a text blurb that detailed that Musk's purpose is as a time traveler sent to warn mankind of his imminent demise by future robot wars. In response, Musk tweeted, I can't hide the truth anymore. All kidding aside, though Elon Musk may enjoy joking about his status as either a 3,000-year-old vampire or a time-traveling oracle, it is pretty unlikely that he is actually either. While the verdict is still out on vampires, physicists have long concluded that while time travel is theoretically plausible, we have yet to find a way to make it physically possible in the way it's been showcased in the movies. Though the laws of physics make it possible under certain conditions, we are simply lacking the technology to bring those theories to life. But there are some who say we are already technically time traveling, even if the reality is vastly different than what we imagined. So what exactly does modern day time travel look like? Let's take a look. When most physicists are working within time travel theory, they are working within the parameter of Einstein's theory of special relativity. This theory found that time and space were interconnected and that the laws of physics remain the same of any and all non-accelerating observers. It also found that the speed of light is the only constant, debunking the idea that time is also a constant. Einstein proposed that time is actually relative and that it moves more slowly the faster an object accelerates through space. In addition to changing the way we thought about time, Einstein reimagined what the fabric of space-time looked like. He envisioned a curved, malleable fabric that would create gravitational dips around large objects. These gravitational dips would pull anything of a smaller mass towards itself. A commonly used example is that of a bowling ball at the center of a trampoline. It would dip the fabric of the trampoline and pull any smaller objects towards it. And according to Einstein's theory, as the objects get closer to the center, they will begin to move faster meaning they experience time more slowly. This concept, dubbed time dilation, is what most physicists refer to when they talk about real-life time travel. Time dilation is what occurs when time moves more slowly for one observer than another. This can be explained via a lot of different examples, most of which relate to the observer's proximity to the gravitational center, as well as the speed at which they are traveling. Here on Earth, the gravitational center is at the Earth's core, this means that anyone who is near the Earth's core is experiencing time more slowly than those of us on the surface. This also means that anyone beyond the surface, say an astronaut floating in space, is experiencing time even more quickly than we are. This, however, does not apply to astronauts on the International Space Station, 
as the velocity dilation of the ISS is stronger than that of the gravitational impact. This means that they actually experience time even more slowly than we do. Though this is technically true, the margin of slowness comes down to microseconds, a measurement so small that we likely would never notice. The only place where this really makes a difference is within the world of GPS technology. GPS systems operate via satellite, meaning that they are actually positioned in outer space. As we already mentioned, the farther you are from the gravitational center, the more slowly time seems to move because you are accelerating at a fast rate. Because the GPS satellites are operated above the Earth's surface, they actually gain about 38 microseconds a day, meaning that they are running through a 24-hour cycle more quickly than we do here on Earth. Though the time difference would be imperceptible to us, the clocks need to be readjusted to prevent the extra 38 microseconds from continuing to add up. Additionally, the adjustments mean that the GPS data corresponds accurately with the time on Earth. Though time dilation and special theories of relativity aren't exactly what science fiction writers had in mind when they envisioned time travel, technically returning astronauts are traveling into the future when they return home from space, even if it is only marginally so. While there is a wealth of theories on the internet about wormholes and the existence of time machines, the reality is that we just currently don't have the technology to truly do so. To truly send a human being significantly into the future, we would have to propel them at a speed close to that of light, and right now, that isn't physically possible. The most we can manage is only a few microseconds. While it is yet to be seen whether Elon Musk truly is a time-traveling prophet or a 3,000-year-old vampire, it does seem that time travel in an imagined sense is off the table for now. With his visionary thinking and can-do attitude, it would be less than shocking if he were the one to truly unlock the secrets of time travel for all of us. Until then, we will have to be content with our ability to travel minute by minute into the future ahead of us, whether it be the next hour, day, or year of our lives.